Mr. DeWalt? Over there. Want to move the animals? I'm not running no more. They need water. How bad? Carnation, you do. Jordan's place. You gotta go have a look see. I'm not giving up. Leave it to us. To Wall. This ain't over, Bennett. Sorry about that, mister. It's doctor. Look, Braddock, why don't you at least talk to Jordan about it? DeWalt has been using that stream for as long as anyone around here can remember. Look, you're always touting law. In this case, that stream belongs to Jordan now. That is not for a few two-bit gunfighters to decide. Clive, a man's got a right to protect his property. Really? Then you pick up the bodies, Craddock. Ah, ah. You're lucky. Ah. Don't feel too lucky right now. Ah. Mr. Coulter, are you trying to get yourself killed? Uh, hey, they fired at me. That stream is off limits until we clear this up. Understood? And when our cattle die, what are you gonna do, Corporal? Uh, feed us? Pay our wages? I will deal with this. Gentlemen, I'm trying to work here. Could you finish this later? Stay away from that creek. For now, that's the law, Mr. Coulter. Excuse me.
I wonder if I could speak with the doctor. That is me, monsieur. Uh, you? Yes. We didn't hire on to become ranch hands. No. You were hired to keep that stream clear. Something you haven't been able to do. That's why you're going to build me a fence. Here comes the marshal. Now, Davis, you just see if you can stay quiet. Hello there, Marshal. Nice of you to drop by for a visit. Yeah, well, don't bring out the good china. This is business. You know, make yourself useful. Well, now, Marshal, what can I do for you? Look, Jordan, hiring these gunfighters for this is just plain stupid. These gentlemen? My marshal, they're just here to keep trespassers off my land. Yeah, well, one of these gentlemen shot and wounded a Canadian this morning. I heard that, marshal, and it sounded like self-defense to me. Look, any more gunplay out there, and I'm holding you responsible. Marshal, it sounds to me like you're getting a little soft on a man's rights. Listening too much to that Mountie, I reckon. You just remember what I said. You don't talk too much, do you? Probably just as well. She's gonna pay for that. Davis, you can barely handle DeWalt and his cows. I wouldn't think much of your odds against a man like Craddock. Besides, you've got a fence to build. I'm gonna ride out and give him a hand, Pop. No, son, you stay here. But I want to help. Did you hear me, Joshua? I said no. Besides, your mother would kill me if I let you go. But she's not even here yet. Thank you. How did you end up in border town? I trained as a nurse in Paris, and I came here with my husband, Jack. He was a doctor. Was? He died two years ago. I'm sorry. Hurry, hurry! Hornet got me. I ain't crying because it hurts, just because it's swollen. My eye is crying, not me. I know. I'll fix your equipment. I'm on your compress. Could I try something? Certainly. Let's get rid of that hurt, shall we? Richardson's compound. You don't use it. No. It anesthetizes the skin. Hey, now we can get that stinger out easily. It feels like my face is asleep. It'll go away in about an hour. How many patients do you see in a week? My opinion, he ain't never going to share that water. Then DeWalt will lose his livelihood. Never know. After Jordan starved them off their land, he may just sell it to them for a penny an acre. Corporal, I need to speak with you. It's a matter of some urgency. All right. My name is Stephen Adams, licensed physician. I'd like to talk to you about Mrs. Dumont. Go on. Mrs. Dumont does not have a license to practice medicine in Canada. I'm aware of that. I'm also aware that she's the only doctor this town has. Until now. I plan on setting up a practice here. And what happens to Marie? She's been breaking the law. The corporal here has to see that she stops. Dr. Adams? Yes, I have. He's staying, isn't he? It appears so. 
I suppose I knew that the minute he arrived. And, uh... I'm finished, aren't I? If you pressed charges, you could go to jail, Marie. I'm really sorry. It's not your fault, Clive. Look, if there's anything I can do... Just leave me for a moment. Marie, why don't you just set up shop on the American side of town? I don't have a license for your side either. Well, a license never stops you saving folks' lives, mine included. You're our doctor, Marie. Not anymore. Dr. Adams is right. I am not a doctor. Can't you understand that? Now, look, Marie, you... You think this will keep those Canadians off my pa's land? Maybe, but this here'd be better. What was that, Davis? Uh, nothing. I thought so. You know, Davis, if it makes you feel any better, any of those Canadians give you some trouble. You feel free to shoot, you hear? Get off of there, Josh. I'm gonna go out and give him a hand. The man needs a gun. You're a Jordan, boy. Don't get our hands dirty. But I want to help. Did you hear me? I said no. You really think that Dr. Adams is pressing? Yes. I've known men like him. A little bit of education, they think they know it all. What's so funny, Jack? Well, I was just thinking, Clive. If anybody knew that type, you would. You really think she'd leave? I don't know, Jack. Well, crying shame if she did. You hammer another post, it's the last thing you do. You made a big mistake, Farmer, pulling that gun on me. You got sand, boy. I don't see you holding any cards here. Now, I've been thinking to Walt. We could make these shootouts a weekly occasion. But I'm not one for Sarah. I'm just trying to keep my animals alive. You two, drop it! Contract's expired here, gentlemen. That's for Jordan to say. And I'm telling you, the job is over. Prende. You and I'll meet again, Marshal. I look forward to it. You get out of here right now. I won't charge you for them bullets. Now, let's go. Well, if there's not enough work for me here, Understand. That won't happen, Sully. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Find another town? One without so many rules. You can't leave. This is your home. Corporal Bennett would miss you horrible, and the Marshal, too. I'm a doctor, Sully. With or without a piece of paper. <clears throat> You get away from here. Sally, that's all right. May I help you, doctor? Yes. I need some medical supplies. Bandages, liniment. If I had my way, I would... Sally, please. Could you get Dr. Adams what he needs? I'm happy that you're so civilized, Mrs. Dumont. It's a pity a woman with your talents should not use them. 
I'll be needing a nurse, if you're interested. That will be 50 cents. I'm not as civilized as you think. Jordan might think he owns this water. This fence is on my land. That's exactly right. Water runs here. Right down the middle of this. Take it down. All right, fellas. Let's get at it. That's my water stream. Get away from there! Get Marie. We'll get him to Jordan's. You'll be all right, son. You'll be all right. Jordan! Jordan! Your son has been hurt. What happened? They were trying to take down your fence. And I stopped them. I did. You shouldn't have been out there, son. I was trying to do you proud. I'm proud of you every day, boy. I was trying to show you I was a man. The marshal's gone to get Marie. We better get him inside. Careful. You're gonna be all right, son. You're gonna be all right. DeWalt is a dead man. No, Jordan. This range war is over. No, it's not. My boy's on that table because of him. Your boy's lying on that table because you won't share a bit of water. Looks like a compound fracture, a bad one. You'll have to assist me. Stop talking and do something. We're going to, Mr. Jordan. Could you get this man out of here, Corporal? <clears throat> Mr. Jordan, we're going to have to amputate. Do you want to stay and watch that? What? My boy's leg? No, no. Amputation? Dr. Adams, I don't think that's necessary. A fracture this bad? You'll never walk on it again. You're wrong. Mrs. Dumont, you're here to assist me. If I want your advice... Wait a minute. Do you think you can save my boy's leg? Yes. Then I want you in charge. Corporal Bennett, this woman is not a doctor. If Mr. Jordan wants Marie to operate, I'm not going to stop her. Let's go, Henry. Come on. You know he has a 50% chance of contracting gangrene. He's a rancher's son. He needs both his legs. That's worth a 50% chance. Get me the carbolic acid. Are you going to assist me or not? This ain't never gonna happen again. That fence is down for good. He's young, still growing. The bones will knit. Well, infection sets in. This is not the big city, Doctor. He will not be surrounded by disease out here. It will heal. When are they going to be finished? I don't know, Henry. I don't know. He should be all right, Mr. Jordan. Thank you. Can I see him? For a moment. Good work, doctor. Congratulations, Marie. Mrs. Dumont, see that you get a license. You're the best doctor this community could have.
date should be by any minute. Corporal Bennett, I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused. That's all right. I think you make up for it by making the right decision. You know, you never learn the important things in school, do you? I would have ruined that boy's life. But you didn't. I wasn't much different than you when I first came here. Thought I knew everything there was to know. What happened? The marshal was quick in letting me know that I didn't. Sometimes I think you learn more in a walk down the street and from all the books at Upper Canada College. Good luck to you, Dr. Adams. Thanks. There's no reason to give up because you make a mistake. That's lesson number one. Dream lately? No, what's wrong? Jordan rebuilt the fence. What? Yep, runs right down the middle. Look, I received some uh, good news from Fort McLeod. It says that if a person practices medicine for one year, they can write an exam, they can get their license. I'll help her study. She'll pass the flying colors. You know, Jack, you should learn how to read. It'll help you with the ladies. They like, um, sophistication. Yep. That looks a lot better, Marie. Felt like the town was missing a tooth without that there sign. What a jerk. Thank you. What a charming way to put it. 